All right, as politicians trade blame over the incidents of violence that marked Thursday's by-election at the heart of the violence that comes with any charged political contest are the youth, who are often on the front lines in politicians' armies. Now, NTV Zaina Bismal takes a look at how the young are often misused by politicians for a song. Kimilili legislator Didmas Barasa and former Kakamega Senator Boni Kalwale last Thursday found themselves in the heat of the charged bedroom politics. In a video that has since gone viral, Dagoretti North Member of Parliament Simba Arati is hard warning Didmas and threatening to unleash his team on him. And seconds later, a group of youth is seen roughing him up. On a street handle, the Kim Lili Member of Parliament lamented that investigating authorities have remained mum on the incidents, terming it a vote of confidence in hooliganism by the Interior Ministry. He further went on to invite individuals to send applications for a recruitment to join his security team. On that same script, former Kakamega Senator Boni Halwale was also seen engaging some youth in running battles as they tried to kick him out of a polling station. Niko na international tender ya watu wawili. Wameniambia wao ni fit kama mimi. Wanaweza kukimbia 100 meters in 1 minute and 59 seconds. Wakwanza anaitwa Didmas Baraza. Nataka mutuwe ye woodly mbio afike kule mwisho wa hii constituency 1 minute 59 seconds. Mwingine ni halwale. Pia ye akimbia ile kitu wanaitaji tu ni pest setters. In a statement, ODM denied kicking him out of a polling station saying, quote, On voting day, Ruto's main errand boy in Kibra, Boni Kalwale, was reported in all media, print, electronic and social, armed with stones trying to cause mayhem. Kule Kibra iko jeshi ya wanguni ya kupigana vita na kuendesha fujo na kutumia mawe ati kuamua uchaguzi. The Director of Public Prosecutions said they were investigating those who instigated violence in Kibra and would take action against those found culpable. But it's not the first time that youth have been used as guns for hire. Last week, a group of them had accompanied Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko to record a statement with the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission and engaged police in the streets as they tried to force their way into Integrity Center. Several people were arrested for this past week's violence. Zenebi Smile, NTV.